Hello, 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 Angle 54 here. Today I will be showing you how to install a hard drive into your computer. This works for the same, this works the same way for HDD drives and solid state drives. Um, there's going to be three parts pretty much to this video. The first part will be showing you how to actually install the hardware into the computer. The second part will be showing you that the BIOS is reading it and you're, you know for sure that it's actually in there. And the third part will be partitioning it, formatting it, and that's how it actually works. So, um, so now, as you can see already, I kind of took my computer apart to start installing it. Um, this will be different. This part, at least, will be different for almost every PC. So I can't really show you exactly how to do this part, but I can show you how to hook it up. So what I will do... I kind of have to do this one-handed. As you can see it right there. I will take the SATA data that I have already plugged in. And if this is going to be your primary hard drive, you do want to put it into the SATA zero port because it will transfer the information the, the best. And obviously you can see the little notch on there. And you can see the little notch on the data. It's going to be the same exact thing for the power. Alright, sorry it's a little bit of a view, but the data will just snap right in, just like this. You won't really hear it, but when you pull on it, it will not come out. And then the power this is pretty much the same exact way. You just plug it in. Just make sure the notches line up. That one will kind of make the little snappy sound. And as I said, this is this part's a little bit different than everyone else's because mine has a little compartment that will hold it and that comes out. Yours might not have this little compartment. And I'm just going to kind of show you right where the sorry, right where the SATA ports are. At least on mine, mine are a little, mine's a little bit tricky, but. Mine's right there. You can kind of see the orange color. Maybe I can get a little bit better view. Yeah, you can kind of see it better right there. And they will be numbered, and it'll see it. Let's see if I can zoom in enough. So you can see it says SATA 4, SATA 2. You want to put in the SATA 0 port if it's your primary hard drive. Alrighty guys, right now I will be showing you how to enter the BIOS to make sure that you actually installed your hard drive or solid state drive correctly. So first thing you gotta do is power on the computer. Sorry about the camera. And my hotkey button to actually enter my BIOS is F10. I do not know what your guys' is. You can just research it or just look at the screen as soon as it boots up. And as you can see mine, mine says the time and all this stuff that doesn't really matter. But if you look down here on the fourth drive, you can see the WDC, WD320. This is the hard drive that I just installed. So this means that I know that the BIOS and the computer know that the hard drive is in there. So then just stay tuned for the next part to actually show you how to install it. Alrighty guys, this will be actually how, showing you how to install the software portion of the hard drive. So first thing I will do is I will go to the start menu in the bottom left hand side. In the search bar I will just type in disk. And from there I will be able to get the, the create and format hard disk partition. So I'll just click on that obviously. It will bring up the little disk management box. <laughs> Sorry. If this is the first time that you've ever actually install this particular hard drive it's the first time you've ever used it it will not actually say unallocated what you will need to do though is you will have to right click it go to initialize disk and then just hit ok make sure it's on the master boot record and then whatever disk number it is and then hit ok and you'll be fine and right here I'm just kinda showing you guys that the computer is reading it but it's not allocated, so it's not realizing it's that it's there. 
as you can see here. So I'll just minimize this bad boy. And then what you got to do is all you got to do is hit right click it, do new simple volume, go to next. This is just setting up the size of it. This part is setting up the drive letter, which normally you want to assign the drive letter. You can assign it to whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But just for this purpose, I'm going to show I'm not going to assign the drive letter. And I'm actually going to show you how to assign it a different way if you have to. You always want to do the NTFS formats. And that's just because of the way that it kind of compresses it. And it is actually overall better for all your data, pretty much. So then you go, just go to next, obviously go to finish. And as you can see here, the computer thinks it's there, but since there's no drive letter, it will not actually be read by my computer. So I'll just go back quick and I will right click it. And I will sh go to change drive letter and paths. Just go to add. As you can see, it did the drive letter that I want already. Hit OK. And now it assigned it. Now I'll go to my computer real quick and I'll show you that it's there. Whoop whoop. Alright, so the this next part I'm going to actually show you how to partition a hard drive. And the reason you might want to partition a hard drive is maybe you want a factory image. I suppose it whatever. So either you want like an image of your PC or you want to dual boot. And the reason you'd want to dual boot is just because of um the reason you want to dual dual boot is in case like a program can't run on Windows 7 and it can only run on an older Windows platform so what you gotta do is just and it is actually a good idea just to make their partition as active it doesn't really matter but yeah it's just a better idea to do it than not to so what you wanna do is just right click you wanna go to shrink volume And I accidentally exited it out here quick, but I was like, wait, what am I doing? So go back to shrink volume, obviously, and you can enter in the size that you want to make your first partition. And I just kind of typed in some random number, and this will obviously be to shrink it or to minimize it. Or so then once you type in the amount that you want, it's obviously in megabytes. You might want to be careful about that. So then, as you can see, I have one part, one part of the hard drive ready to go, and then the other part is unallocated. So I'll just go back in here, and I'll do the wizard. I'll start it up again. Go to next, 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 next. You can name it if you want. Finish. And as you can see, my computer now thinks that this hard drive is two separate hard drives, when you can clearly see right there it is two. It is one hard drive. Alright, next I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually delete it. In case you accidentally do that, or say you want to get rid of your factory image so you can have more space, which is actually what I did on my HPC drive. So all you got to do is go to delete volume, hit yes. You will right click your first volume, you will have to extend the volume, hit next, hit next, and there you go. No, it is back to the original size. And all right, so if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please comment and subscribe.